We are back with another I try. It's a big one today. I try skydiving for the very first time. The point of this series is to make ourselves uncomfortable, to try things. Yeah, this one wins so far. Yeah, this is by far the biggest eye try we've done. Done. So I'm shooting this footage here right now first because Jenna's in the car. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna say anything about it, but right now I'm feeling nervous. The gravity is hitting that we're about to jump out of a plane. So here we go. How do you feel knowing we're gonna do this? I'm not happy. Why? I haven't done anything else today and it's almost four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you not done anything? Because I've been nervous. Yeah, it's um, it is a concept that will definitely make you uncomfortable. Jumping out of a perfectly good plane, regardless of uh, you know how good things have been in the past and what our percentage is and all, well I take that back. If they were like, yeah, nobody survived, it'd be much worse. It's still the concept of jumping out of a perfectly good plane. It's and there's there's risk involved. There with without a doubt. I'm just saying, of course, yeah, we can die from what we're about to do, but we can also die at any moment. And I guess the question is, would you live with regret had you never skydive? Skydove? Skydive? Skodoved. Skodove, got it. Would you live with regret if you never skodoved? Absolutely not. Well, I would regret if I never did it. My grandma, she died when I was 17. When I was like 15, 16, she got really obsessed with going skydiving. And she had had two hip replacements, so she didn't think people would let her skydive. But she found a place that would. Nobody wanted to go with her, and she didn't want to go by herself. And that's the only reason she never went skydiving. I've been thinking a lot about that as the reason why I'm not chickening out. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Time just keeps ticking by and this has never been a priority. Like it's never been like, all right, let's actually go do it. You talk, this is the type of thing you talk about, but you never actually go and do. Regret is more terrifying to me than what we're about to do, seriously. This is not what I expected. 10 miles an hour on the road, 120 miles an hour in the sky. So we're actually at Skydive the Gulf in Alberta, Alabama. Uh, the people here are fantastic. We planned this a good three months in advance. We got here at least 30 minutes early and we showed up and we had to uh, sign paperwork, of course, video sort of education briefing. What is expected of you on the skydive? So please pay attention. Then we had to do this eight minute little video just going through the do's and don'ts of what to do when we're actually in the plane because we're tandem jumping, of course. After that, they took the two people that were here before us that are gonna be jumping and landing here. We're gonna be landing at the beach, and now we're waiting. Now we're just waiting for the crew to get back, and I'm really excited about it. We got the media package, and how could you not get the media package if you were jumping out of a plane for the first time, am I right? So, I can hear the plane, I just can't see them. Holy sh they're high up. We're going up 9,000 feet, and for every 1,000 feet, it is a three degree drop in temperature and apparently it is in the upper 30s, which for a Floridian, that might as well be negative 100. I can hear him yelling. I changed my mind. <laughs> At any point when you're up there, you can say, no, I don't want to jump, no, I don't want to go. And legitimately, if you're like, I, if it's going to bring you less happiness to do it and you won't have regret. No regrets. No regrets, just basically no regrets. Nice. You all right? Yep. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> so there absolutely is this certain level of like, you can chew on this and think about it way too much and talk yourself out of it. I could definitely see that concept available and uh, I'm intentionally not doing that. Let's just, let's just keep going. So no one, problem. one how, many, how many jumps have you done? You're the first. I'm the first, fantastic. Yes, all right, all right, you're my first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so romantic. Yeah. They're preparing the shoes. You work out and and yourself oh, strap in. Four guys are smooth like 26 grand. The next one you'll see will be what their video session. Can I do it? <laughs> go. I tried skydiving for the very first time. Here we go. Let's go. We're going to have a lot of fun. Heck yeah.
Yeah, that was us. Holy shit, Juan! <laughs> that was incredible. Let's go. Holy shit! Huh? Made it so far. All right, you want to make? You want to make this turn here? Welcome to the beach, my friend. Wow! It's <laughs> a good way to get here, huh? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Just nice. Welcome to the Made beach. Uh, what was your favorite part? Surviving. Surviving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> amazing. What was your favorite part, bro? Take it in, Holy man. How was it, guys? It's good. It's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. No, the certificate, but what really matters. This side, this is the official log of the jump. If you jump again, you can log it here. Awesome, man. I really so, appreciate it. You were yeah, awesome. Yeah, bro. Really, that was really a cool jump. It. That was a really cool jump, man. We made it. We made it. I was nauseated as hell in the van ride back. Like, yeah, me too. Were you really? Yeah. I thought you weren't. No, I... I was super, super nauseated. Yeah. So I realized when we were up there, I never actually saw him put his parachute on. <laughs> and I kind of panicked for a second, and I was like, okay, I'm not going to shout, did you put your parachute on? <laughs> <laughs> Every bit of the training that they gave me, out the window, gone. And then finally, I was like, all right, hands, hands stay here. He was like, look up, and I was looking up. And I was calm. I wasn't freaking out, but I was just like, it took it was so much to process like it, it's a, that's the best way i could describe it like you couldn't remember any of those cues really really interesting honestly it was crazy enjoyable euphoric nothing will ever replace that but i if i never did it again i i, I think that it'd be okay it definitely feels like a checkbox has been checked when we were on the way up 5,000 feet and i started to see the horizon for some reason i started feeling pride that i was doing it like i had I had pride and I, I didn't get teary-eyed, but I was like getting close to that feeling of being teary-eyed because I had pride that I was doing it. That was incredible. Ugh. Like right when you right when you jump out, like you just let go. Like you're like, yeah. like this no is the best moment there, of your yeah. life or that's it. And like you accept that. Yeah. Good job, man. Thanks, man. Thanks wow. for jumping with us. You don't have to be perfect at this skydiving thing. Just be better than yesterday. Every, Every day. day.